Hey, this is a match once again. We're about to see other videos of the paid requests, this time from Dark Metal Spider. They do so much for that. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for Ape, a 1976 film that really this was made because Dino De Laurentiis produced that Team Con remake in the 70s with Jeff Bridges, uh, among other people in the cast. Which I don't think that film even did that well when it came out. Well, I think it made some money, to be fair. But it's just that there were a lot of critics that looked their noses down upon it. I don't mind the 70s Team Con film. But I definitely prefer the 1933 and the Constant Island. Constant Island. I definitely prefer those over it. But this is a South Korea American co production. And in fact, they had. They almost got sued. So they literally. I think at one point it was going to use Team Con the title, but they definitely would have been sued. So they changed it to Ape. And in the advertising, they literally had to say. Not to be confused with Team Con. Because <laughs> I think it was around like the same year this team out was that 70s Team Con remake. But then, you know, they were cashing in on it. And this one of those movies that... <laughs> you... If you want a good laugh, it's worth a good laugh. Because this... Beetle Ape is... They say 36 feet tall. And the first 15 minutes tells you what kind of movie this is. Cheap and bad. Because you got these two sailors who sound high. And they mention that, you know, off, they, oh, they caught this ape. Where are they taking to? Disneyland. Are you serious? So, yes, they're, t they're on this boat. That the wide shots, it's a toy boat looking in a bathtub. That's what it looks like. But yeah, the two, they, they sound like they took a big old thick Cheech and Chong marijuana. Hey, how's it going? Dave, Dave's not here. So when the ape gets out, the guy literally goes, Oh, shit. <laughs> That's this. That's his, that's his uh, line reading. And then it cuts to the, the toy boat blowing up. Which I don't know what caused the blow up. Because if the ape just didn't out of the deck. I guess he had a gas thing that made it blow up. But considering how big it is. I don't know. You would think you would see it. Fall, whatever. It's we only have a toy boat, so yeah, just let it blow up. And then there's a shark, which I guess they use the real dead shark. Now here's the thing: if this ape is thirty six feet tall, in one of the worst monkey suits you'll see. Terrible, cheap looking suit. It's got nipples that you hang your coat on. And when it's like with his armpits, you can see the shirt, you can see the white of the guy's shirt underneath, like here. And grabs his shark. Now, you think of, you know, let's say you get a shark, a baby shark. It would be pretty big. You know, you're tearing it, and it's, you know, maybe. No, fairly big. So if they did a real, you know, dead sh shark, baby shark, to make it seem like it's attacking this live thing, but in the world that this movie takes place in, of a thirty-six foot ape, how big is the shark? Is this shark also the same? Is this like a megalodon? This would be ten times bigger than the shark in Jaws. By this size. Just like later on, there's a snake. 
it seems as big as it, or at least as long as it. So they don't know what the hell they're doing in terms of size, scale, effects. You get a kick out of it and laugh. <laughs> and then goes and it destroys these buildings and stomps on them. It cuts to like people running by like the same wall with like some fire here to make sure they're in the same to make it seem like they're in the same area as these bottles. And I'll pick up like these barrels and throw them like they're <laughs> grenades. <laughs> so after it's done some trash and we are introduced to our characters. Uh, we have some American characters. We have this actress which I recognize she's the mom from Growing Pains. There's her boyfriend. There's this colonel. Who sound, at times sound like John Wayne. Like he's trying to act like John Wayne. And then you also have these Korean... You have this Korean military... I think scientists, whoever the hell... Who is friends with... The actress's boyfriend, and then that Korean guy's family, <coughs> South Korean. Oh, that'd be funny if this was North Korean. <laughs> but <sighs> some of the stuff that just happens in this movie, it was done in, it was filmed in 3D or for 3D. So there are shots that are absolutely are done because of. 3D, like there's a guy driving, and he turns, and for some reason the guy driving the Jeep turns, he runs into this big beam that's right there, he just drives the Jeep into it, why? Apparently he has no peripheral vision, is it, I can't see, oh my god, and it almost hits him, but just so the beam could go towards the camera. That's through the windshield. And there are tens of other people. They try to like. Get stuff to the camera. Which. Defy anyone. To have, who has seen this in 3D. The Colonel guy. Some of his line readings. like He'll say a line like. Now what kind of bullshit you trying to hand me son. Uh, the ape being a dick by steering kids on the playground. The colonel not believing these phone calls he's getting, literally saying the line, Yeah, ask him if he's King Kong. One scene personifies, well, two scenes personify this movie. There's a scene when he it picks up the snake and it throws it, but when it throws it, it hits the camera. And the camera moves like that. Actually, it goes down. So, imagine this is a scene. It throws a snake. When it throws a snake, it hits the camera. So, it goes like this. <laughs> From this to... <laughs> the suit actor hit the damn camera. And they didn't do a second take. Or just edit it, like, throw it and then just cut away. They left it in. Okay, just throw at the camera and then cut away. No, they, they let it hit the camera and go like this and they left it in. <laughs> There's a scene with the colonel, like... Hey, we need to talk to the press. There's dire circumstances happening. There's things going on. People dying. And the colonel just goes, To hell with the press. I'm going to smoke this goddamn cigarette. <laughs> or the ape comes across... Because I guess there's multiple Hollywood productions... There's multiple movie productions going on. There's the one that the American actress is doing. There's another one that's a kung fu movie. And the ape comes across a kung fu movie. And these guys start using their weapons. Even though it's a 36 foot tall thing. Instead of running. 
they decide so when you did some more 3D it doesn't do much to the ape there's a guy with a hang glider Whee! and it lands on the thing and the ape is so excited to hit his hand it's like he got an orgasm he keeps doing this and it's like he keeps going on and on like he's ready to piss his pants or ready to have another uh, orgasm multiple orgasms I guess I a hate glider hit my hand or there's a bit where we go back to the American actress they're filming the scene where there's going to be in the movie she gets assaulted and the oh hey come on you're doing it too rough so they take a break and the actress talks with her boyfriend and they're talking about stuff then when she's back to do the film the director tells the other actor remember Greg rape her gently <laughs> which I never thought I would hear those words said do what because yeah, it's supposed to be that type of scene but you know I wonder if that's ever been a real direction on a film remember rape her gently <laughs> oh and the music is playing and then just cuts off like it's playing during the the scene that the score when goes to the next scene is gone not fade out just cut <laughs> so of course like King John ultimately it gets the American actress tears her around you know its hand looks like it's paper mache and ready to blow away <laughs> there are a point where the military and choppers are trying to shoot and it'll like flail its the ape like flails his hands like this I don't know what the hell is doing I was trying to do patty cake. If it's trying to be like limp wrist, I don't know what the hell it's trying to do. Apparently, the the guy they got is a terrible suit performer with a terrible suit, just flailing arms at the camera. Maybe maybe he's got I don't know Tourette's or seizures or something. Or you gotta take a big crap. I don't know. Can't find the bathroom. Can't find toilet paper. Maybe that's why. Maybe he needs the brawny man to wipe his ass. I don't know. And then he's, there's the choppers. Look, look like toys. Now, of course, the most infamous scene is it hits a chopper. And when the chopper toy hits a wall... It, the ape does this. I kid you not. The ape, when it destroys a helicopter, then gives it a middle finger. <laughs> so there has to have been a point where they knew what they were making was bad. And said, just go with it. I don't know when that was. I don't know if there's any interviews about this. That says that. But Jesus. And sorry about that. There's people doing stuff outside. Doing this early in the morning. I will say despite, you know, the, the funny stuff that was like funny in a so bad a way. About two thirds in, I was getting a bit kind of tired of it. Where, when I got into the boyfriend rescues the girl, then the girl goes with the one guy's, uh, the South Korean guy's family, and the military's kind of shooting at it. Not really do much. 
and the mobs are just you know destroying a building here, destroying a building there. You know, it's your typical smashing through buildings, but again with very cheap looking suits. You don't care about the the characters at all. You don't give a rat's ass about them. It's one of those things, unless something horrendously bad is happening, it's not entertaining. And when it's just smashing through buildings, it's kind of just, okay, this was done in a variety of Godzilla films better. It was done in other, actual King Kong films better. And you're just... You're just waiting to see if this suit will fall apart more so in front of your eyes. And the girl gets taken again. It gets shot at. And the the finale, I would say, was very boring finale. Which that's the thing. If they knew this was a bad film and they were doing stuff on purpose, they sure went for broke for the finale. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, maybe one of them turns into South Korean Superman and decides to fight the thing. Or maybe uh, they well, have South Korean version of Inframan, Ultraman. They they built that and a Jet Jaguar or whoever comes in and fights him or, or something else. Or this guy is Cyclops and he shoots beams out of his eyes or something. Or um, they shoot a missile just stuck up the ape's ass. I don't know. <clears throat> Because it's pretty much just, they're shooting at him, shooting him, shooting him. It does not do anything. Kind of just flailing around. It throws these rocks that are clearly styrofoam rocks that are disintegrating as it goes down. Then it decides to put the lady down and it's just doing this. A chopper comes. Even though they shot this monster like a hundred times. I guess when this chopper shoots, then it kills it. You think there'd be some up close shots of some blood or some stuff where this is the vital hit? No, they don't do that. That's what they should have done. They should have made this like R rated and bloody. <laughs> like, go, go for that audience. Like, the, just, just be kids ain't gonna want to watch this. <laughs> Let's laugh at it. Well, maybe some would. That's not fair to say. Maybe some would, to be fair. And then they try to pull the King Kong card where it dies and it's supposed to be sad. And the girl is crying and her boyfriend goes, You're just too big for a small world like ours. I try and do it. was Beauty that killed the beast in King Kong. So they're trying to have a line like that. But it's like, this movie didn't earn it. It didn't earn it at all. Not one damn bit. So like, okay, if you say so, buddy. Sure, if you say so. Like, no, it doesn't work this way. Not with this. But, like I said, if you watch the trailer, if you watch clips, if you want to see a bad movie that you're going to laugh at, you'll get some chuckles out of it. I didn't. If, I don't know when... Unless this, they sincerely thought was a, a, maybe they, I don't know. For the third ad, I wish they would have even upped the ante of that. The insanity and, it's kind of like all the weird, like, there, there was less funny stuff in the third ad. And that's where it kind of got the more, just kind of boring element. And let's say when you don't care about the characters and it's just you just look at all the mistakes and all the and the so it's fun to be seen on that front. Maybe it's not up there on the level of Samurai Cop or Rotor, but uh, like I said, you'll 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 get some chuckles out of it, but it's not. I don't think it, it's a good movie. I really I don't think it's a good movie at all. But, I mean, you'll get some entertainment out of it. At least there's that. you get some chuckles out of it. 
So I, at the very least, I was entertained. Like I said, the third act it got a bit boring. It wasn't as crazy as the first two thirds, but like I said, uh, you definitely get some entertainment out of it. And there's more that could be said compared to a lot of other movies, but it is a bad movie. And I, I would probably never see this film again, unless it was with friends. <laughs> That's the only way I'd see this film again. But uh, it's definitely a film, it's a fun, it would be a fun film to riff on with a group of people. I would say that. So. With that said, thanks for watching. If you want to see a guy in a suit that's falling apart in front of your eyes and throwing states at cameras that <laughs> fucks up the camera and giving middle fingers. Which I wonder if that's where The Rock got his... Remember he did that movie Rampage where the white gorilla did middle fingers? Were they big fans of this movie? Is that how they got it? don't know what I mean, look it up. The Rampage from 2018, I think with Dwayne the Rod Johnson and his buddy, the white gorilla. He does like a middle finger like two or three times in the film. And like, were they big fans of this movie? Oh. Well, that says, thanks once again, Dark Metal Spider. Uh, if anyone wants to request any type of videos, uh, PayPal is usually the best bet or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.